Welcome back. We wanted to um, record this quick post webinar video to address some of the questions that we couldn't quite get to because of uh, running out of time on the webinar that we just did Thursday, April 2nd at 10 a.m. Pacific. I'm still joined by my colleague, Amy Benoit, who has all the questions, and uh, we thought that this might be the easiest angle to get those out to everyone. And of course, let's not forget that your ability to ask further questions regarding Greenplum within AWS exists by sending a quick email out to cloud marketplace at pivotal.io. Okay, I can ask. Can Commute be scaled independently of storage to address higher concurrency for heavier workload time periods? So, so the short answer about scaling Compute independently of storage is yes. We have another utility that we didn't actually demonstrate on the webinar called GP Compute. What this utility does is uh, for a running cluster uh, without impacting users, it allows you to add both CPU and RAM to address high concurrency. And in, of course, in addition, when that high concurrency goes away, you are um, conversely able to reduce CPU and RAM. And so you can save costs in that way. Next question. <laughs> Isn't there a cost for CPU segments that are paused, especially since the CPU segments do not get torn down? There's no cost for the segments that are paused as they're not running. However, there is a cost to the storage for those non-running uh, segments because those disks are already allocated to the servers. So that cost is relatively minimal. It's actually near S3 pricing, like very near it, especially, you know, specifically when you're using our default storage options. Um, but the, the CPU and RAM and, and network is not being uh, allocated because those are not being used. All right, thank you. Next question. Who manages the database, operating system, et cetera? So when you go to the marketplace and you spin up a Greenplum, the Greenplum on AWS cluster is deployed within your AWS account, so within the customer's AWS account. So the AWS resources are actually managed by both the customer and AWS. Greenplum on AWS includes a bunch of cloud native automations, which makes it very easy to maintain. So I mentioned this uh, on the webinar, but we have automated maintenance. We have automated recovery with self-healing, which you saw. We have um, automated upgrades where uh, the cluster is actually looking for new software and we'll go and download it. And when you're ready, we'll apply it across the cluster um, very easily and quickly. We, of course, have the ability to pause and resume to save on IaaS co uh, costs and uh, you know, scale up CPU and RAM. Like with all products within AWS, operating system patches are tasks that are uh, typically handled by the customer. And in my experience, customers actually prefer this to ensure compatibility with their existing workloads. So you don't wanna apply a patch and then all of a sudden have queries run slower or even faster for that matter. You want you know, the, the consistency. So guidance on how to best install those patches are documented in the Greenplum on AWS documentation. And of course, management of the Greenplum cluster itself um, by the customer, so by you, enables customers to easily move between different clouds as well as their on-premise installations because the exact same Greenplum software is used for both cloud and on-premise deployments. Thank you for answering. We have a few more questions. We need to use deep learning. Does Greenplum support this? Yes, as a matter of fact, Greenplum has integrated support for deep learning. So for example, uh, Apache Madlib, uh, which runs uh, within Greenplum, has deep learning extensions uh, and they're specific, uh, again, obviously for deep learning and it's integrated into the overall data science toolkit, which includes things like TensorFlow and other advanced analytic libraries. Um, also, Greenplum is highly extensible and, and really can support any deep learning framework. And what we do is we effectively can containerize and run in parallel anything that uh, can be bundled up into a library. And so oftentimes you'll see, you know, again, like Python libraries 
uh, being leveraged inside of Greenplum against all of the data that Greenplum can access. Next question. What is the model opera operationalization platform? So um, in the demo uh, that we did today, we actually used Amazon EKS, but we support any Kubernetes distribution. So obviously including Amazon EKS. And that was where the demo was deployed. We got a question around Kubernetes, which is such a hot word right now. What's the difference between Pivotal Green Plum and Kubernetes? Okay, so that's a, that's a, a, a good question. Um, so Kubernetes is a deployment platform that Greenplum can run on top of. That's kind of the succinct answer. Uh, we've had a containerized release of Greenplum now for well over a year, and customers who choose that option actually have nice synergy with other modernization initiatives that they're going through by leveraging Kubernetes. And so, you know, again, the, the power of Greenplum is that we can make use of whatever infrastructure that we deploy on, and we can uh, take advantage of that infrastructure. And you've seen a lot of uh, what we've been able to do within the AWS framework, we can do a lot of these same types of activities leveraging Kubernetes, um, which allows you to have a sort of a IaaS feel, but anywhere, including on-prem. All right, final question. Does Greenplum on AWS work with Heimdall data? Uh, short answer is yes. Uh, in fact, I recommend to all Greenplum users that they use a connection pooler of some kind whether it's PG Pool, PG Bouncer, or Heimdall for a better overall user experience. Heimdall is a great commercial utility that uh, provides additional functionality besides just um, uh, connection pooling. It includes results caching, uh, better integration with LDAP and Active Directory, and even automated failover of the primary and mirror uh, for the master hosts. And so, uh, the, Yes, we do definitely work with Heimdall. They're a great uh, partner. Thanks for joining us after hours. Thanks. Hope to see you again soon.